everybody, this is Lara from Light Body Healing and Consulting, and today I want to talk to you about finding happiness in everyday life, and that um, can be really elusive to a lot of people. Um, I think most of us are actually too busy to realize that we are actually happy. Uh, I think we're also taught that happiness equals perfection, that uh, we can only be happy when everything is perfect, everything is lined up, perfect job, no bills, um, kids are, our kids are perfect, our dogs are perfect, our spouse or significant other is also perfect, and uh, we're just setting this bar impossibly too high. Being happy in life is actually um, a lot easier than most people give it credit for. So I wanted to talk a little bit how um, I uh, call myself happy and my death, my life is definitely not perfect. Um, I have a good job, but, uh, and you know, it's tolerable, it's okay, but it's not um, my ideal it's definitely doesn't, you know, have the, has a really cool schedule, seven on, seven off, but it's graveyard that um, isn't the best part of it. But um, I'm working towards uh, something more for myself, something more fulfilling. And so I think that's a perfect example of I'm still happy even though that aspect of my life isn't what I would consider perfect. And I am happy because I know that I'm moving towards something more. Uh, which also brings me to the concept of acceptance. You have to accept where you are in order to move forward and move beyond. You can't just jump to where you want to be, unfortunately. Um, but in order to get where you want to be, you have to start where you are. So having acceptance and coming from, from that place with compassion for yourself, forgiveness for yourself and your surroundings and everyone else in your life, those are really important. And those will help you not focus on the bad stuff, not be so hard on yourself, not get paralyzed and stuck in perfectionism, which is, I think, brings a lot of people away from their happiness. So, the next thing is gratitude. And my life really turned around in terms of my everyday happiness quotient, you might say, when I started focusing more on gratitude. And every day I start my day with gratitude. Even if I don't journal it, I suggest if you have time or to make time to just do a really sh little short gratitude journal, like three things. Um, but even I am obviously not perfect with that. So what I do is even before my eyes open and when I'm still in bed, I start, you know, all the things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my bed. I'm grateful for my pillows. I'm grateful for the roof over my head. I'm grateful for my dogs snuggling with me, whatever it is. I'm grateful for the amazing run I'm about to have. Um, so starting your day off already looking at what is good in your life. And then, you know, throughout the day when you find yourself getting off, because we all do, whether it's traffic or work or people in our lives, um, there's always these things that want to knock us off of our high flying disc, for to use an Abraham Hicks term. And so having that practice of gratitude to come back to will always help you get you back to your high flying disc. So getting away from perfection, having gratitude, being present. So like right now, I'm driving to work. I have an hour commute and a lot of people would be like, oh my God, that's awful. But I've learned to love my commute because it gives me time to do these videos. It gives me time to fill my life with positive things like Louise Hay, Tony Robbins, Carolyn Mays, Gabby Bernstein, all of these things that I get to listen to and fill my consciousness and my energy with on my way to work and as I'm leaving work. So that's two hours a day of positive energy amazingness. And I wouldn't have that if I, well, I might have it, but I think it'd be a lot harder because I didn't have that in my life before I had this commute in my life. So I'm grateful. 
grateful for that. So also, if you have a long commute, whether it's a short amount of mileage and a lot of gridlock, or a lot of a lot of mileage like I have, and not a lot of gridlock, fill it with good things, whether it's music that you love, or authors, audiobooks that you like to listen to, just be conscious about what you are bringing in and be purposeful with it and make the most and try to fill your time that would normally be, I don't know, begrudgingly or like slogging through the day. You have the power to change that because it's all about your perception. So fill it with good stuff. Fill it with stuff that awakens you and enlivens you and really raises your vibration and makes you excited for the day. And what else? Uh, I talked, oh, oh, yes, another really important thing, infuse joy into every day. Uh, to me, uh, my commute is part of that. But, you know, um, also part of that is being outside with my dogs every day or having dinner with my husband as often as possible. Um, so whatever joy is to you, maybe it's playing music or snowboarding or skiing, just make sure at least a little bit every day some joy. So maybe it's jamming out in your car to your favorite tunes. Um, so I think, what have we covered? We've covered gratitude. We've covered getting away from perfectionism. We've covered joy. Um, so I think those are some good tools and tips. And to um, realize that you're probably happier than you think. And give yourself credit for that. And be happy that you're happier than you think. Because, Holy shit, I'm actually happy. Or I could be if I gave myself the ability to actually shift my mindset around. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you want more or have questions or comments, please leave them below. You can always find me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Dr. Lara May, D-R-L-A-R-A-M-A-Y. My website is also drlaramay.com, and my blog is drlaramay.com forward slash blog. So I hope to hear from um, all of you, and if you want to work with me or are curious about what coaching would be like, definitely private message me and we can set up a free one-on-one -on -one clarity call that'll probably last about 45 to 60 minutes and we can talk about what you want in your life and how I can help you get it. So have an amazing day. See you later.